Hello everyone, thanks for watching. Before we get stuck into the show, we just want to tell you about Redmen Plus. We have loads of content here on YouTube, but we have lots, lots more over on our Redmen Plus. Uh, you get exclusive interviews, documentaries, and loads of extra content, which includes pre-match and post-match shows as well, all available in video and podcast form. If you sign up as a club legend as well, you'll also get access to a host of perks, including uh, free merchandise, discount on merchandise, access to tickets, uh, to Redmen live shows, and much, much more. Hello, 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 welcome to the Red Men TV. It's player ratings time, and my goodness, this is a much, much, much better show than I think it was going to be about 97 minutes and 50 seconds or whatever into that game. Because Liverpool, with essentially the last kick of the game, beat Newcastle two goals to one with a goal from that guy right there, Fabio Carvalho, Liverpool's superhero in this game right i'm about to give every one of these lads a rating out of 10 but before i do that all you are watching along right now in the live chat and i can see there's plenty of you in there do vote for your man of the match let me know who you think liverpool's best player was in the game to do that use the live chat very very simple type in an explanation mark the word vote v-o-t-e do a space and then the number of the player that correlates to this list over here. It's not the player's shirt number or the squad number or nothing. It's their ranking on this list over here. For example, if you thought Ali was the best player, I mean, I don't think you would have, but it would be explanation mark, vote, space one, hit return. At the end of the show, we'll tally those votes up and we can decide, well, we can let you guys know as a collective who you thought Liverpool's best player was. I've got a sneaky feeling I know who you're going to vote for. I know I'm going to give my highest rating to already. It'll be interesting to see if we match up and if we correlate. If you're watching this, by the way, later down the line, after the fact, do use the comment section below and again, tell me your thoughts on everything that you think I got right, everything you think I got wrong, and by all means, slag me off about what I'm going to say about everyone, because that's fine. Um, right then, we're going to get into it. Like I say, I've got, me, I've got my marker, I've got my magnets, and we're going to go through it. Again, rather than just voting, you can also give me your thoughts on each individual player, uh, how you thought they performed in the game as well. So, for example, just write the, write the name in the chat, give me the, what rating you would give them, I'll bring that closer, and then let me know yeah, your thoughts on them. We'll start with the goalie then. Um, to be honest, he didn't have a lot to do. Um, he had it was not much he could do about the goal, really. Sprint out uh, and makes himself as big as he can. It was just a, a good finish from Isaac. Um, other than that, didn't have many many saves to make, really. Thought his distribution was good, a couple of quick throws. Um, I thought he was I thought he was fine. But, yeah, it's, it's hard, really, because, again, didn't have to do a lot. So, let's just give Ali... Um, let's just give him a seven. And we'll, we'll just crack on from there, because, yeah, I don't think he could do much with the goal. I thought his distribution was good. Um, so, yeah, let's crack on. Let's give him a seven, and we'll move on. Um, right then... Left back Andy Robbo. I always say on these shows, like my average rating's a six, and then and then a work from there. So anything above or below. Um, let me have a little look. <laughs> I'm got a chat already from. Is it Boab? Everyone will be getting two or threes if Carvalho didn't score. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I think I'd, I'd like to think that wouldn't have been the case, but maybe it would have. Who knows? I'm in a much better mood than I would have been if it was another one all drawn and the world was falling. And yeah, maybe that would be the case. It is an emotional thing. Um, Right then, let's have a little look. Andy Robbo, let me know your thoughts in the live chat about Robbo because, um, again, he was taken off for Costas. Obviously, um, Trent gets taken off as well, as does Henderson, and we'll get to that in a minute. The triple sub for, for Milner, for Elliot, and for Costas Simicas. That did help Liverpool get back in the game a little bit. Um, I thought Robbo was... Ish. Ish. Not great. Got, not, not, I didn't... Sorry. He got to the byline a couple of times in the first half, didn't he? Obviously, Liverpool were attacking the cop end in the first half, um, but didn't really make that much of it. A couple of nice interceptions. But, yeah, Benzimo says, here, yeah, Robbo was pretty average again. I would like to see Costas get a run of games. Um, see, yeah, maybe, I don't know. I, I still think Robertson's better than Simacas at everything, but actually, I do agree. I don't think... I'm not sure if... Ro if they're hiding something, like, Robbo's been subbed off in every single game. Now, I don't, well, pretty much, I don't know if that's because Jürgen's looking at his bench and looking at what senior footy players he's got, and he's thinking, if I want fresh legs, 
Costas is really one of the only senior players I've got. I might as well just use him. It might be that. There might be something going on, but I, I tend to agree. I think Robbo has been about average or a little bit below. Um, let's have a little look what you guys think. Dicky Oi Red, one of our members, shout out there, says, um, Robbo 6, not vintage, but he was trying to combine with Diaz, but it didn't always work. Um, LFC fan zone says Robbo gets a 5, pretty average. Yeah, I think, to be honest, I think I think five's too low. I think he was a little bit below his standards. So I'm going to go five and a half. Those little extra halves count, you know. Um, okay. Hopefully that works for you guys. Virgil van Dijk. Um, his passing at times was a little bit off. Some of those long passes that he usually nails weren't quite there. Um Let's have a little think about Van Dyke. Didn't, again, didn't have much defending to. We did lose one battle, which I was. I, I was funny. I was on um, the watch along. I was like, long ball towards towards Van Dyke, and and I always my next sentence is always, and Van Dyke won it, and I went, and Van Dyke, oh, he lost it, and it, it just it, one of those surprise things that he never really does, but he did. Um, let's have a look at some of the scores then. So Gary gives Virgil a seven, Khalil gives him a six, and Yappy, I think that it gives him a five. See, this is the thing. I'm gonna wrestle whatever I give him now. One, two years are gonna be disappointed, aren't you? And one years are gonna be, um, one years are gonna be saying I, I joined up with Steve's thinking. I thought Virgil was decent to be honest. I don't think he did too much um, wrong. I know like people are talking about the goal and stuff. He, he had to go out for the goal. He had to go and engage his man, really, because that, there was no cover there for him. So I don't really think he did too much wrong. I think Virgil, loads of sixes in there. I think I'm going to go a little bit better than that. I think he was a little, little bit above average, maybe. So I think Virgil was fine. He can have a six and a half. But his passing needs work. But I think defensively he was pretty good. Um, Joe Gomez, I'd love to know your thoughts, guys, on Joe Gomez, because I thought he had a good game, and then I went on social media, which, again, I shouldn't do, really, but, I mean, listen, I can't help myself at times, and there was a lot of people taking having goals at him, and I thought that was a bit uncalled for, really. I thought he defended pretty well, for the most part. Obviously, yeah, in general, really, there was one time doing the goal that didn't count. Maybe if that did count, the offside on Isaac, which was centimetres offside, then maybe we'd have been thinking, oh, I wonder if Gomez could have done better. But also, it didn't matter. Um, let's have a little think. What about Go I thought he did well. I thought, he, I thought his passing of the ball was improved. Passing it forward. He's obviously... Um, he never gets to go for corners, really, Joe Gomez. He's always kept at the back, and we sent him up for that last-minute one. And he actually wins his header. Um, which is a yeah, bit of a surprise, and obviously the chaos that ensues results in Fabio Carvalho's late, late winner. Let's have a little look. So, Virgil was better than Gomez. It says, one of the, is, that, is that David? Uh, I would dis I disagree with that. Bear says fives. He made loads of mistakes. I, I, maybe I'm wrong. I thought he was good, but again, uh, this is the thing. I thought he was good, and there's people in the comments who thought he was good, and then there was people uh, disagreeing. Aerially, yeah, I, I do agree with that one. Maybe he didn't win as many headers. Gomez was good, sevens, lots of people saying sevens out there as well. Matthew said bang average, five. Um, I think I thought he was good. I thought he was decent, to be honest. I'm going to give him a seven. I know some of you guys are going to disagree with that, obviously, but um, some of you won't, and that's just the way that goes. Right then, into Trent Alexander-Arnold at uh, a full-back. Then. I don't think Trent was brilliant, again, to be honest with you. Um, let me have a little think what you guys... Uh, thought of Trent's performance again. He gets subbed off and he had a bit of a cob on. I don't think it was injury related because he looked like he had a bit of a cob on when Milner goes out to right back. Um, Gary gives him a six. He seemed a bit off. He got five from Khalil and fours from Josh's and three from Constantinos. My God, got all the range there, haven't we? Six, five, four, three. Anyone lower? Any lower than the three? There we go. There's a two. Um, yeah, I don't think I don't, I don't think Trent had one of his better games really. I think he I think he was. A five. I, I don't. I don't think he played well. I think he was below his average best. And I think Jürgen obviously agreed because um, took him off. I don't think his crossing was particularly great defensively or uh, okay. I he had one really good cover and one actually, which I should praise him for because it looked like someone was going to be down. I think it might have been Joe Willock was about to bomb into the middle and Trent come across and covered. It might have been Fraser actually, but um, but I, yeah, I don't think Trent was particularly at his best. So I've given him a five. Um, right then, Fabinho. Again, this is another one because I don't think Fabinho played well. And then I went on social media and there were some people um, saying he was our best player and I didn't see that. I thought he got sucked into too many fouls. 
a lot of people blame Jordan Henderson for the goal, and I don't think Hendo did well, and we'll speak about that in a minute. I don't think Fabinho did well at all here in that goal. He goes to engage a ball he's, he's got no chance of getting to. He was too far away to go and engage that, and he let a runner just run off him. Um, I don't think Fab had a good game, but you, again, there's some, some people disagree. Fab gets a seven, says Luke. First half he wasn't there, but second half he stepped up and kept us going towards the end. Lots of sixes and sevens for Fab. Um, yeah, I thought he had a poor first half and a good second half, so it's how you rate those out. Um, my, get, my, my gut instinct is that you go five for the first half, um, go seven for the second half, and then the average at a six, but, excuse me, <coughs> a lot of you guys dis tending to disagree with that. Um, loads of sevens and stuff in there as well. I, I disagree. I think I'm going to give him a six. And I've explained my reason. I thought he was a five in the first half and for the goal. Seven in the second half. Average out um, at a six. Right then. Excuse me. <coughs> Javier Elliott and Jordan Henderson. Who shall I go for first? Jordan. Let's go for Jordan. Uh, hamstring injury for the captain. Um, by the way, if you're celebrating our own players getting injured on the inset, you're a fucking dickhead. Like, honestly, grow up. He didn't have a good game. That's fine. Do not celebrate Liverpool players getting injured, you weirdos. Um, let's have a little look. Carry on. Um, yeah, the, 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 the chat's go mad for Jordan. I don't think Jordan played well. I think he would have went off, um, even if he wasn't injured. I was saying, I think that was the sub that had to be made. I don't think he was having a good game at all. He had a couple of nice moments, but it was all a little bit too slow. I, I give the ball away. I, I think too many dinks and dunks. I, I just didn't like his performance, really. Um... If I'm honest, I don't know if it's overplayed or what, but um, he hasn't had a good season, really, Jordan Henderson. And it is, it is an issue, like it definitely is. I think he'd be the first to admit it. He had a spell last season where it was the same and he did come out the other side of it. And now he's injured, obviously, which is unfortunate. A um, couple of good balls, but yeah, overall, uh, I don't think he was great. So I'm going to say... Ooh, four for Hendo. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, four for Jordan Henderson. Right then, yeah, I, 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 and, but again, yeah, listen, don't celebrate Liverpool's fucking captain getting injured, you weirdos. It's absolutely crazy. Right then, let's crack on for Harvey Elliott. Um, I think he was our best player. Let's move that, let's move that over there. I need some room to put his thing on. Um, I think he's been our best player this season. All, all in all, you know, if you go through all the games, he's been the best of of, of what's been a pretty average bunch at times, to be honest. Um, it felt like when Liverpool were doing really well, everything was going through. Um, Harvey Elliott gets involved a lot. Some nice turns, some nice tricks. Works his nuts off as well. Let's see what your excuse me. Let's see what your ratings are saying. Eight and nines. Um, he was world class in the second half, says Jay. Jay gives him a nine. Um, he has shades of Thiago. That is high praise at all. Charlie said, Charlie the Red, without Harvey, we do not win that game. Give him a nine. Dicky Red gives him a ten. Lots of eights, lots of nines. Yeah, I'm going to say, I'm going to give him a nine. I thought he was excellent. I thought he was the best player. Jürgen said he was the best player on the pitch in his post-match interview. And who am I to disagree with Jürgen Klopp? I, do, I agree. Nine for the star boy. Harvey Elliott. Um, let's move across over here. Let's go Diaz first then. At times, I think Diaz does too much. He tries too hard. Um, I thought he was more influential because Newcastle had the banks of four. It was essentially a four and a six at times. The space was, they were pressing high. The space was actually in behind and he kept coming to feet. And I was thinking, just go over the other side. And a couple of times when he did run in behind, he looked a little bit more threatening. Um, he worked hard, says Gary, who gives him a seven. Hmm. Maybe. Loads of sixes. I am going to say, I'm going to go down the middle. I'm going to give Diaz a six and a half. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, he runs a lot, but sometimes like, there's, there's too much going on a little bit. I thought he was okay. Oh, uh, shall I go for next? Let's go Bobby. 
goal scorer, Roberto Firmino. Um, I don't think he was, again, it, it was a strange performance, really. I don't think Bobby was playing particularly well. At times, I thought he was dropping a little bit too deep as well, which, old habits and all that. But, but, excellent finish. Excellent, excellent finish. Really, really good goal. And for that, he should be able to, I think, the, you know, side foot into the corner first time. Excellent. So you guys are all giving him sixes and sevens. And I think, okay, I think he would have been five and a half towards six, but he gets an extra mark for me goal. So I'm going to give Bobby a seven. Um, I wish he'd just stay up front a bit more sometimes. Um, but I know that isn't the game, but yeah, I think he would stay up front. Mo Salah, does he get an assist for that second goal, technically? I think producer Tom told me before he did. Uh, I don't know um, for sure. He definitely gets an assist for the first goal. Um, some good touches again. He, I don't, it's obviously the system. It's obviously what Jürgen wants. But he's very wide. And I'm just, again, I'm just thinking at times, can you run him behind more? Can you be the most Salah who's making those runs towards goal rather than standing on the touchline waiting for the ball? Can you be running forwards and getting on the end of through passes? Um, again, it's obviously something they're working on or they're trying to do, but... Yeah, it... it let's see. Ooh, man of the match gets a nine. Ooh, six and a half, says Costantinos. He gets... What's that? Six and a half only for the assists, but he is a bit off. Yeah, I don't think... I I thought he was ish, but he did get the assists. Let's give Mo a seven and move on. <coughs> Excuse me. I do apologise for the post-COVID uh, croaky voice. Been a lot of and a lot of shouting in the, on that when that um, final whistle blew as well. Right then, let's move on to the subs. <coughs> James Milner, Costa Simicas, and Fabio Carvalho. Milner at right back. I thought we looked better when Milner came on at right back again. That might be obviously it's a triple sub, so you can't put it all on there. But um, I thought he, I thought he had, he had a decent enough game. Couple of good balls in. Got about got to the byline a little bit. Let's have a little look what you think. Um, Merely gets a seven. He stabilised the right hand side. Says Gary. Um, f loads of fours, really. I thought he, I thought Milner was quite good. I mean, some people just don't like James Milner, I suppose. But yeah, we looked better when Isaac went off. That's a fair point as well. Yeah, that that is a good point. It wasn't just the Liverpool. Um, I thought Milner was better than Trent, personally. So I'm going to give him a six. Costas. Um, Ooh. I think he was better than Robertson, so he's going to get a better grade than five and a half. I thought, yeah. He, he, he does my head in at times. He's a little bit unconventional. And he'll do some, he'll do some rubbish bits, like some poor corner that go straight to the goalie. But then there's a bit of magic in him as well. Um, lots of sixes and sevens in the channel. I think I'm going to give him a six as well. Fabio Carvalho just going to get a ten. Gets a hundred. Scored that goal. Not asked. He was on for, he went, I don't care what else he did. He scored that goal on his birthday or the day after his birthday. He gets a ten. Uh, yeah, Fabio have a ten. If you disagree, I don't really care. Uh, there we go then. I've gone for Ali gets a seven. Robbo gets a five and a half. Virgil gets a six and a half. Seven for Gomez, five for Trent, six for Fab, four for Hendo, nine for Harvey, six and a half for Diaz, seven for Firmino, seven for Salah, six for Milner, six for Costas, and ten for the match winner, Fabio Carvalho. There you go, they're my ratings. Like I say, if you're not watching this live, do get in the comments section, let me know what you guys would have given all of these lads out of ten. Before we go, you've all been voting throughout the show for who you thought was your man of the match. Um... Tom, producer Tom's going to let me know. If it isn't Harvey Elliott, I will eat my hat. It's Harvey Elliott. It's Harvey Elliott. That is so good because I haven't got a hat. <laughs> Harvey Elliott was the man of the match, rightly so. Um, yeah, I agree. I thought he was brilliant, actually. Again, Liverpool's play was going through a, a kid. He's a, you know, a, a young kid and everything went through him. Absolutely brilliant. Like I say, Liverpool weren't at their best tonight. There's quite a lot of, again, average to below average ratings, which is why you end up needing a 98th minute goal to win. But there were some positives to take as well. Actually, the young lads, 
particularly Elliot. Like I say, give, I've given Carvalho a 10 for the winner, but who cares, really? Just the goal in general. There were some positives to take, but there's lessons to be learned. Liverpool needs to up it for sure. There's injuries still. There's another injury tonight. Jürgen saying they probably aren't going to sign someone when they probably really should be signing somebody. So, yeah, it's... It's up and down, but ultimately, sometimes if you can't be good, just just be lucky. And if you can't, just win. And then we'll we'll cross those bridges later. You know what I mean? And that's kind of what happened tonight. What I would say is that there's been questions about the spirits of the players at times. And like I, I thought that Old Trafford, especially in the first half, it was a that was something I very rarely questioned the pools like character and commitment and stuff like that. We did it a bit at Fulham, and we definitely did that at Old Trafford. I don't think we can do that tonight. Again, they know they're not at the best. They're not at the best. There's a lot, you know, there's lots going wrong. There's loads of injuries. They look tired already, which is mad to say, but like they look like they're doing less sprints. And I think the stats are backing that up. Again, another player injured with a hamstring. I think we're up to five or six hamstrings now. So something's not quite right, but they battled through it. So fair play, they got the win. Let's reassess. Let's try and get some bloody players fit. Maybe sign one, because why wouldn't you do that anyway? And we head towards the derby, hopefully, feeling a little bit better of ourselves. But yeah, um, like I said, get in the comments section, give the video a like as well, and let me know your thoughts. Give, literally list all the players and give them a number out of 10 if you want to do that. We'll definitely go and check some of those out. Right, I'm going to go and uh, rest this voice for a little bit, then I'll be back in the main studio with Errol for the instant match reaction. That is streaming on Red Men Plus, our subscription service. From as little as just £5 a month, you get roughly... If you sign up to Red Men Plus, in the region, like 20 hours or more content, it's mad how much content you get. It's absolutely ridiculous. And because we're playing two games a week, you get two Oppo previews before every single game where we speak to fans of other teams. You'll get two instant match reactions straight after the game, two final word shows as well each and every week, as well as the usual, the debate shows and your Geno Insight and everything else, the stat show. There is so much on there. So if you want to come and join us and support the channel and help us do all this on YouTube for free, check out Red Men Plus. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. Me and Errol are going to be chatting about Liverpool 2. Newcastle? Liverpool 2, Newcastle 1 over there very, very shortly. Thanks for joining me for the show. I'll catch you all next time. Goodbye. Get closer to Liverpool Football Club and the magnificent city of Liverpool over on Red Men Plus, our Liverpool streaming service. Documentaries, features, more content from the Red Men studio, and you can learn deep and in depth knowledge from experts, journalists, and cultural features. It's going to get you close to the football club that we all love. Head to redmenplus.com.